angry guy here and women are passing away rapidly and no one seems to care. So, I mean, I said this before and I'll say it again, nothing lasts forever. You know, the Gen Z idiots, thankfully God seems to be reacting to their actions and you know, they're beginning to leave the earth. Young women are beginning to, you know, also they're living shorter lives than women who were born 100 years ago. But there's some very strange things happening right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump. We're going to jump into a video and then you'll understand. Right now, a family is trying to bring the body of a 41-year-old mother home after she suffered a medical emergency and then died on a flight. The pilot diverted that airplane to Turks and Caicos, where they are now working to determine how she died. Angelica Robinson tonight shares the challenges this family is facing as they try to get her home. It was a birthday celebration in Punta Cana. We had a very good time, and on the way home, Something tragic just happened. Maria Yanati says she and Stephanie Smith went on a couple's trip to the Dominican Republic at the end of February. She says Smith, who was 41, suffered a medical emergency on their flight home. Her boyfriend realized something was wrong. He said he looked over to her and her head was tilted in the back of her seat and her eyes were kind of rolled in the back of her head. Then she began convulsing. A flight attendant tried to help, but CPR didn't save her. The plane headed from Punta Cana, Dominican Republic to Charlotte had to make a medical emergency diversion and land in Turks and Caicos. Smith was pronounced dead at the hospital there. Her body is still in Turks and Caicos, where Smith's family has been waiting for an autopsy. It's been more than a week. I want my sister back home. Her brother, Chris Voles, says it could take a while to bring her back home. And he says the process is confusing. It's just maybe having a better understanding of what it takes to, to get that done quicker. And just, I think for a lot of people, you know, it's just a lot still, it's a lot of unknowns. According to the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of Consular Affairs, options depend on local law and practices in the foreign country. Despite the sudden death of a seemingly healthy mother of two, family doesn't think there was any foul play. Voles just misses his sister. She was very, um, just someone that always was caring and really cared more about other people. Sometimes she put it above herself. They say she lived a life to the fullest. You never know when it's going to be your time to go. You live your life like it's going to be it. In her final days, she was doing what she loved traveling you know what's really crazy about this is that these people will never actually admit to the reality around us so we so this so an article just came out uh one hour ago so the video you watched that came out like a day or two ago and now we actually know what happened the brother of indiana mom who passed away on flight from dominican republic reveals cause of her passing and it says the autopsy results for an Indiana mother of two who passed in February on a flight home from her vacation in the Dominican Republic uh, have reportedly been released. A forensic pathologist told Stephanie Smith's family that the 41-year-old woman passed of natural causes. She was only 41 years old. She was healthy. Guys, they're saying she passed of natural causes, specifically a car carotid artery dissection in her neck some of you are going to say what the heck is that angry i've never heard of this before that sounds kind of strange so basically it's a, it is a it is a little bit strange but what it is is a carotid a carotid artery dissection is a separation of the layers of the artery wall in the in the carotid artery supplying oxygen bearing blood to the head is the most common cause of stroke in younger adults. The term cervical artery dissection should also be considered in the context of, 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 of this article. So that's based, so they're basically saying that an artery in her neck got blocked and she lost a su supply of oxygen to her, to her head, to her brain. And as a result of that, she passed away and they're saying that this is just this is this is natural causes you know this this type of thing just happened i mean obviously this is it, it this is it's, it's one of the main causes of strokes in younger adults 
But the fact that they're just acting like, oh, yeah, this was just a seemingly normal thing. Nothing to see here. We're just going to look in the other direction. And her family is just like basically trying to play it off as well. Like there was nothing like this is just normal. It's just normal for a 41, a healthy 41 year old to pass away from something like this. You've got to be kidding me. Her boyfriend had told us that they were getting ready to get altitude or that they hadn't been in the air very long. But he said that he looked over at her and her head was tilted back in her seat. Her eyes were rolled back, were rolled in the back, and he thought she was just making fun of them. They normally joke around like that, said Yanadi, who was on the trip to Punta Cana, Punta Cana with her fiancé Smith and Smith's boyfriend. Smith's boyfriend asked flight attendants for help, and they began performing CPR to no avail. Now, I mean, it's it's really unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. And she leaves behind two children, an 18-year-old son and a 16-year-old daughter. And this is, and that's the reality. That's the reality of it. And we're all supposed to swallow this and, and you know, don't ask questions and go back to sleep, little sheep. Go back to sleep, little sheep. And of course, you know, many of us want to say what we think actually happened, what we know actually happened, but we can't talk about it. And this is the this is the reality that we now live in. You know, as I pointed out, they're trying to they cannot explain ever after the events of 2020. Young women now have shorter lifespans than women who were born in 1928. And of course, there is a series of different reasons why this may be happening. But the fact that this number has just skyrocketed and is growing rapidly ever since the events, you know, after 2020, it's just, it's just pretty interesting. It's just very interesting. In fact, one of the biggest leaps started right around 2021. I wonder what happened in 2021. You know, I, I wonder what could have, I wonder what, what could, what could be there? You know, I, I'm not, I'm not speculating. I'm just just saying, wondering, just wondering. Interestingly enough, though, men are not passing away at the same rates that young that young women are passing away at. Gen Z as a generation is just is passing away, but the young women and young women overall are passing away rapidly. And you know, guys, there's there's a saying that the sins will follow you. So there's a lot there's a lot of that happening right now. And guys, they will never admit to it. Her family will not, her family won't admit to it. She, I mean, if she was if she was still alive, she wouldn't admit to it either. She would not admit to the reasons. All of these people that were involved in this thing, they cannot, they can't, they cannot be open and honest about it. They cannot say, you know what? I messed up. Most of them can't. There are some people who say, you know what, I got involved with this and now I regret it. You know, I was I was perfectly happy and healthy, and now this is what's been happening. But most of the people, most of these people, will never be able to actually, actually say, "Hey, you know what? I messed up. I messed up. Ever since I went and decided to do what I did, you know, things have not been the greatest. I haven't been feeling the greatest. Everything has gone downhill. You know, or I've lost children. So, you know, Pat, some of my kids, my kids, you know, I've lost, a, you know, a kid. One of my kids, Control Alt deleted." They're not here. They're no. They're no longer here. And the reason why this has happened is because of you know certain decisions that were made. They're not gonna wanna. They're not gonna wanna, wanna own up to it. They, that's that's the thing. They just can't stop. Won't stop. They don't. They don't want to do it. By the way, guys, don't forget I have an incredible channel called Angry, where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. Go and check out the channel. There's a link to it in the description, description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe and support my work. I mean, guys, these women chose this for themselves. They made this decision, and you can see what the consequences are here. And, you know, I'm not crying for them. I really am not crying. You know, there are no tears. There's some of you, some of you will cry, you know, and for those of you, it's like what's, what amazes me is that there are some of you that are still so in love. When you look at how women treat men in Western society and how society treats men, there's some of you that just won't stop, won't stop with the simping. 
this is the reason why I say that, you know, there are elements of the black pill that are necessary. You can't, you know, the biggest problem is that the, the black pill is totally nihilistic. And that's, and that's why I talk, that's why I say, you know, the gray pill, the gray pill that I've conceived makes more sense because the gray pill has elements of both red and black because we don't live in a, in a strictly black and white world. We live in a world where there are shades of gray and the gray pill, I think the gray pill really fills that gap in because the red pill is the red pill is the start of your journey. It's not the it's not the end of your journey. You know, really, you, you, you take the red pill and then you move on to the black pill. But the problem is that the black pill is too nihilistic. And if you and if you if you consume too much of the black pill, the black pill will basically tell you there is essentially no hope in the world. But yet, and yet, there is so much necessary, and yet we do live in a very dark world, which is why I say that, you know, it's time to take the gray pill, because the gray pill is going to, you know, it it, it, it has both elements of red and, and black in there, because we live in a world, you know, in shades of gray. Guys... If you enjoyed the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have and liking the video and turning on notifications never miss another video ever again. Let me know what you guys think. Women are passing away rapidly and no one seems to care. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.